All right, gang. Kind of answering a question today. Uh, this week, we're supposed to be terrified of the weather again. Uh, as you know, it's going to kill us all. And uh, I got asked about my truck, my, 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 my stuff I carry in my truck, because I travel a lot. And uh, a couple of nights ago, I was over uh, on the road, and uh, there was a bunch of slide-offs and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I haven't really gone in for all of the different bags that apparently we're supposed to be playing around with. This is a Ron Mexico. Ron Mexico. I like that band. It'll go up on the wall. But anyway, I've never really gone in for all these bags that we're supposed to be carrying. Get home bag, everyday carry bag, uh, truck, uh, a get home bag, uh, a go bag, a bug out bag, all that other stuff. I don't really do that. Uh, now, if any of you have seen, my, seen the interior of my van, I could live out of that van for a, for a really long time. And uh, I keep food in there for being on the road, uh, when I'm camping and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I've got multiple wool blankets in there, and I've got uh, the Snug Pack Jungle blankets in there, and I've got all that all that stuff in there. Uh, it's, it's, it's a house on wheels. Uh, the bag I carry is either going to be my Pathfinder Scout Pack or it's going to be like a Matilda, uh, a Helicon Matilda. Is it Helicon? Does Helicon make that? Anyway, it's a Matilda pack. Uh, those are my two just about favorite backpacks right now. Uh, as far as the, the the smaller, I guess, purpose-driven bags, I usually use dry bags for, for that kind of thing. Uh like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't have a bag for every occasion. It's generally always going to be my backpack, and I'm going to put stuff in there or take stuff out, depending on the situation. Uh, and uh, that's really about it. I'm not, I'm not really going to have all these specialized bags running around. Uh, if that's, if if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Uh, like I said, I don't have a go bag sitting in my, sitting at my front door to grab and and run out uh, because I've got stuff in my pickup truck. If I get stuck out someplace or I have to go someplace or anything along those lines. And I've got the van, like I said, it's my mobile house and gear locker. Uh, those of you come to the gathering, you'll be able to see that. But it'll be a real mess then. Uh, because in addition to my normal stuff that I'll be carrying in there, I'll be carrying a whole bunch of stuff related to the gathering only in there. And uh, so it won't be representative of how it usually is. Uh, much like it's not now, because I got a whole bunch of stuff just thrown in there to, for storage to get it out of the way, uh, because I'm not on the road as much right now as I normally am. Uh, with that being said, what would I pack? Uh, was the actual question. What do I carry to to take care of these situations if they arise? Uh, my backpack would be in would be in the van. Uh, in addition to just the normal 10C kind of items in there, uh, my first aid kit is tricked out a little bit more than standard. Uh, it's not in the backpack right now, but I keep a Sawyer Mini uh, for water purification purposes, and I keep a Grail uh, for water. Uh, other than that, I've got a food box in the van. Uh, if I was, if I had to leave the van. I would just throw some of that stuff in the backpack. Uh, and I keep a variety of, of stuff in the van. A uh, little quick go stuff like uh, granola bars and all that, all those kind of things. Peanut butter, bread, all that. And I've got, got regular cooking stuff too in there. Uh, so I've got, I'm, I'm generally pretty well provisioned. If I wasn't well provisioned, like if I was, if I was going to make something for the wife and uh, her, 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 her Jeep is pretty well provisioned too because she keeps a lot of stuff in there. But if I was going to put together a bag for the wife, it would probably be around about a 20-liter dry bag 
and a couple of blankets, especially in this weather, because you know it's cold. Uh, and probably a bush pot, something along those lines, and a single burner. Uh, and it would probably not be propane. It would probably be those uh, isobutanes. But the problem with those are, and propane, even when it gets really cold, that stuff doesn't want to burn right when it's cold, cold. Uh, so you got to watch those things. You got to warm those things up. And uh, if you're really interested in it, I will... I will do an expanded video and actually put together a kit based around a 20 liter dry bag uh, and uh, see what we can do with that, uh, if you're interested. But I had the question, what's my thought on these bags? What, what's my thoughts on, on, having, on having a get home bag or a truck bag and a vehicle bag? And uh, those are my thoughts. I don't have specialized bags. Uh, now, in the past, I did a, I did a get home bag video and uh, that was in response to bad weather again. And uh, I was asked at that time, what do you carry? What would you carry if you had to leave your vehicle? And uh, I, that was what that, it was an old get home, get home bag. Uh, and it's, that was changed a lot. Like I said, I've got my, I've got my Pathfinder Scout pack in there already packed and ready to go. Uh, probably too much clothes in it because I use it as a suitcase also. Uh, but I would probably throw some of that stuff out, throw some food in there. Uh, throw my Sawyer in there and did him out. Hit the road. Uh, with that being said, I think that's about all I got to say about that. Uh, those of you who have uh, followed my affiliate links to buy product and things like that, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the support. And uh, as always, thanks for putting up with the with the with with this nonsense, these low quality videos that I make, and actually taking time to view it. And uh, I was I was actually joking with my son the other day. Uh, I've been cleaning out some boxes and things here in the shed, and I'm finding stuff that I didn't even know I had still had it on. Uh, I was going, I might have to do a series on stuff that I found in the shed. Weird stuff. Not really weird stuff. Just stuff I don't need anymore and I don't know why I kept it. But anyhow, talk to y'all later. See you in the woods.